What's up everyone, it's Jake Moore here today. We're going over how to do a flat ground 360. It's one of the more basic tricks, but it's a trick you're gonna wanna get if you wanna do anything more than a three or three on jumps. So a lot of it's pretty simple and um, it doesn't take a whole lot of effort, but you do have to make sure you're pretty strong through your whole body. So you will you know, use a decent amount of strength doing it. But uh, once you get them, it's a huge accomplishment because for me doing a 360 is probably one of the first big goals I set for myself and is actually probably one of the most fun things I ever did uh, when I first started skiing. So I'm gonna scoot back a little here and show you. So as you're going down the hill, you wanna go down a really small incline. And as you're going, when I spin left, I do push a little um, more hard on my left ski than I do my right when I spin left. Uh, you should try not to do that, but it's gonna be you know, a pretty common thing to do when you're trying to spin on flat ground. So when I go in, my feet are about shoulder width apart. And as I come up, I'm on the ground flat. I come up and I jump as high as I can. And I whip my arms around and my legs, everything goes together. I don't like spin my arms, my legs get stuck and my skis clip. Everything has to come at once. So I'm gonna do one right here for you guys. So as I come down, jump. See how you like, you pause, you jump up first. You wanna make sure like all this strength comes down from your toes through your knees. You wanna lean forward on your shins and you go up, 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 then you turn really quick. So you don't wanna like, just try and like jump and catch your skis. You wanna make sure you're jumping straight up and then you turn everything to the side. And then you put the landing gears down. If you're having trouble doing this, it would be a really good idea to try it on a knuckle first. So that's what we're gonna do right now. We're just gonna do a flat ground three off a knuckle. That way I get a little bit of air, so. Okay, so in this next clip, there's a few things wrong I do. First of all, I start off correct and I'm, you know, I'm bending down really far. I have my hands at my side, and that's what you want. You want a lot of momentum coming into this. And as I pop, I'm a little off balance. My body's kind of tilting a little bit and see how one ski is lower than the other. They should be kind of straight up. And then my um this arm though, that's kind of driving the spin. You do want that, so that is correct. And then as I come in to this uh, next part of the rotation right here, you can see how this arm gets left behind. It's not, you know. It should be up here, not back here. That's not good. So you don't want to do that. And that's why my tail kicked up some snow here. And you don't want any of that either. So those are just a few little things that went wrong. But I was able to land it, so it wasn't too bad. Some things you want to keep in mind, though, is this is a trick that you're going to be doing really fast. So it's going to feel fast. Um, tricks to making sure your skis don't catch the ground is really emphasizing the fact that you're jumping up first. And you're really kind of going straight up and then ripping your skis around that'll definitely help with you catching your skis and if you're really having trouble trouble with this because you know it is it is a little bit difficult for being a simple trick um i would suggest doing it over a little rollers maybe a little bump or something or even on a knuckle like i said before all these things can help and then um before anyone does this so i would suggest just standing in your ski boots and just doing it on the mountain without skis on so maybe just standing in place doing a 360 practice jumping up and using your arms because that's going to be one of the most important things so as I come into this one, look how I wind up just a little bit, not excessively, but just enough to build some momentum so I can jump as high as I can and get the rotation around. But look right here how my edges are in the ground, this inside edge and this inside edge. That's kind of going to be how you're going to be able to jump straight up. And that's um, what makes this trick successful is being able to jump straight up with all your body energy and then going around after you go up. So go up and then rip your skis around and that's what's going to be able to make you land this trick. Okay, so that's pretty much everything. Uh, just make sure that when you're doing this, you're able to do it first on flat ground without skis on. And then from there, you can move on to trying it on little bumps or something and then into flat ground eventually. But uh, this is a pretty low consequence trick. You know, like worst case scenario, you don't make it around and um, you kind of tip over. So there's not really that big of a high consequence on this trick. So you shouldn't be too scared to try it. It's a pretty easy trick that you can get around. And if you can't, then practice on knuckles and bumps, like I said. But uh, that all being said, I hope you guys do well with this and you, you, know, you make it around. And then after this, you can take it to jumps if you haven't done that yet. Thanks again for watching. Uh, go ahead and check out Ski Tutorials and the rest of my YouTube channel. Thanks, guys.